Now for this next example, this angle is greater than a revolution, right? Yes? So could I maybe rewrite this angle using a simpler form? Uh, I'm not sure if that's the same, so let's take a look. All right, we know that halfway around circle is pi. In terms of thirds, that's 3 pi over 3. All the way around circle would be 2 pi. In terms of thirds, that's 6 pi over 3. So if we have to go to 8 pi over 3, then we're at 2 thirds, right? Good job. So that's really, the angle looks like this. Wouldn't you guys agree? That's what we learned at the beginning of trigonometry, like how to sketch angles, right? Yes, sir. But the difference here, oh, actually, this one is on the unit circle. Look at that, because the radius is 1. That's kind of cool. Yes? Now, do we already, but another, the point I want to kind of put to you guys, though, is what you kind of represented. If I wrote this point as this, 2 pi over 3, it's the same angle. Yes? Right? So if you use the same radius and just coterminal angles, you can represent it in different ways. That's going to be important in this next example I do. Or could I also do it this way? Could I do 1 comma negative 4 pi over 3? If I said, uh, yeah, subtract it again. That works, right? And could we, keep, could we find infinite many points that are exactly the same? Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Yes. No, I mean, this could all have been done, too. If it was, so where is this point? 2 thirds, so that's right there, right? So if it, the radius is 2, it would be right there. If the radius is 3, it would be right there. The radius is 4, it would be right there. So it really doesn't come back. Everybody OK? So that's how we'll be on the test. Like, you just give us the, the polar point, we would have the, we'll um, the graph on there. On I will tell you what your the quest, test questions will be in the next round. Okay.